let me show you something. The reason I mark these zones is not because we can expect a huge bounce out of it. Yes, we can get that sometimes. That totally depends on the market conditions. The reason we mark these zones is because we can expect a good bounce out of this zone. That will be enough to hit or take profit before the market will push back down in a trend. What I mean by that, as you can see, the market is in a downtrend from quite a while now. Here you can see. And if you look back on a daily time frame, since we got this bearish engulfing candle from the top zone, the market is keep on pushing down. But the reason I mark these zones is because once it hit our zone, let's take this example. The market was pushing down in a downtrend on a higher time frame. Now, when, once we reach this zone, this red zone, we have took this trade a few days ago. Market bounced up, hit overtake profit, and then it continue its trend downwards. Now, if you look back on a weekly time frame, we got this pin bar, we got this bearish engulfer, and since then the market is pushing down. So it looks like the market is in a bearish pressure, and the reason we have these zones, once it hit, with a good entry reason, we take our take profit, exit our trades, and then look for the next opportunity, whatever we get. So with that being said, let's jump on to our analysis with natural gas, gold, silver, and crude oil. Like always, let's start with natural gas. Okay, awesome. What do we have here? In my yesterday's video, I pull up my Fibonacci tool at this point. Because at that time, we did not have this red candle. Now we had another red candle. So in this case, I will pull up my Fibonacci tool at this point. And then we will have our buffer zone adjusted right here. Now, if you are in my priority group, we have taken three trades using pullback strategy. And all three of them are a winning trade. Keep this pattern in your mind. And let me very quickly show you all these three trades we have taken in priority group as we got lots of pullback trading opportunities last week that is why this is what i teach in my priority group and one more thing if you are in my priority group i send these zones every single week every monday or tuesday and if you see this candle you will know what i'm talking about this is what i look for the sell trading opportunity using of a trend continuation zone if you remember when i sent two zones one is tcz this is what exactly the tcz zone is market push down push back up and golfing candle and then you take your entries accordingly so this is how you use these zones for your entry now if you see this condition this is our trend continuation zone we have this entry con condition right here so this is the exact trade we took on a forex pair and this is the exact condition we got here on natural gas so let me show you what i'm talking about so what do we have here exact same condition market pull up we got this engulfing candle this was our trend continuation zone and along with the trade i have sent the instruction and i told them that how i am entering this trade and what i am looking for this entry and the exact entry condition we got here on natural gas this was a one trade one pullback trade one trade using our tcz zone along with the pullback strategy so we have a both confluences here let me show you another one right here we got another one another trade we took in our priority group this was a successful trade as well we had a nice waterfall out of this trade it was a winning trade and this was just a pullback strategy this is not a tcz along with pullback strategy and the trade we took yesterday let me show you that as well right here the exact pullback trade we have taken this is also a winning trade so by the way i've managed this position take profit was here and i've just managed my position i've moved my take profit to the next level you will learn all that in the course but at this point this was one of the winning trade and again guys this priority group is not a signal group and i will not send many of the signal this week we got some good trading opportunities that is why i have sent around four trade alerts and out of them three were the winning trade and these three i've just shown you along with that i've taken my own trades using the same strategy and some other strategies priority group is mainly to coach you for your trading 
and help you to take your trading decisions independently. And along with that, if you are trading natural gas, you can always ask me entries and you can always check entry confirmation. And I also sometimes send you alerts like today, once I'm recording this video, before that I have already alert some traders that we got a good selling entry condition for natural gas. So this is what you can expect from Priority Group. You can get alerts from me, like you have natural gas confirmation. I do send them as well but the weekly forex zone report that will be purely forex so with that being said let's go back to natural gas now and let me show you what i've said in my yesterday's video as we got the exact same move out of natural gas we were expected yesterday now this is a zone you need to pay attention to what will happen now go back on four hour time frame we can either expect a push up in this zone and from here we can get another bearish candle if we have a pullback this is your pullback zone 50 percent retracement from here right here so this is the buffer zone that is exactly aligning with our resistance so if you get a pullback this 50 percent can be the aggressive entry or the less aggressive way to wait in the box and see a good bearish engulfing candle exactly the same move we got so we got a double confluence the market pushed back up we got a 50 percent retracement we entered in our buffer zone we hit our major level of resistance that was previously a support that is now working as a trend continuation zone so along with that we got this bearish engulfing candle i'm expecting market to push down to this green zone once we are in this green zone i will exit my trade and i will look for another opportunity a buying opportunity out of this green zone you already know this green zone if you have seen my previous video you can Go back and check the previous video I have zones marked there so that you will know the zones so this is the green zone i will look for my buying opportunity we got a nice selling condition right here on currency.com market pushed back up it hit 50 percent retracement along with that we got this bearish engulfer and with that this is a 25 percent candle so looking at the condition this is a, there is a likely chances that the market will hit this green zone which i've already mentioned in my previous video from where i will look for a good bullish in golfers or double bottom entry patterns let's check gold okay awesome what do we have here let me show you what i've said in my previous video at this point gold is below all the emas and now is inside our minor zone minor zone is not usually a strongest zone so that is why i will be really careful to take my buy trade because market is in a strong bearish momentum but at this point i will be very careful to take an entry for gold it might fall from here as well and then the next zone we have is 1788 from where i will look for my counter trade this will be my buying zone from where i will look to enter my buy trades perfect so exactly i was re resisting entering at this zone because like i said i have seen the good bearish momentum gold was making constantly making lower lows as you can see all the way from here and then it came down to this minor zone again and then it pushed up here now at this point i will still not buy this was a buying entry candle and that would be your tp already using 180r if you see here right here your tp would have been hit already if you would have entered here on this engulfing candle the nine dollar move we already got and the atr was nine so we got this tp hit already here with this candle now we can still get a push up to this zone from here we can expect another fall as we have a 20 ema and we have this resistance above that we can get another move here then we get an engulfing candle to take another long let's check silver okay awesome let me show you what i've said in my yesterday's video won't be long right here instead market has broken below this zone and now it's pushing down at this point we can expect a push up and then we can expect another bearish candle and the next support we have is 19.50 that goes down to 18.87 if the market pushed down this is the zone i will look to take my counter trades from wait we had a nice waterfall of the red candle market hit this major zone and start pushing up now at this point we can either get a push up then we can get a push down with experience i'm telling look back on one hour time frame we are about to get a double bottom pattern so we can expect this move we can expect a push up now it is hitting 20 ema here on one hour time frame we can now expect a push down from where i will look for another bullish engulfing candle or a pin bar to take my long trade till this next pink zone right above here
let's check crude oil okay now crude oil is still indecisive we have this 50 ema resistance we have this major resistance right here so at this point crude oil still look bearish i will only take buy trades once we are above 50 ema and above this green zone at this point you can expect a bearish engulfing candle right here once we have that we can take short trades out of crude oil so that's all for commodity market guys any questions buzz me on instagram i'll get back to you asap hope you trade green rest of the week I'll see you guys in the next video till then take care <laughs>